Hi everyone, I'm Dominique Mess. Hi, I'm Maribel Alleman. And we are the creators of Group Coaching HQ. And today our question actually gave us a lot of pause. Uh, the question was, what are the current, current trends around group coaching and what are the most common types and the most easily marketed versus those that are more difficult to fill or sell? And that gave us a lot of, uh, yeah, we asked ourselves that question. I know. And I think so. So we, we decided to have a conversation about this and share with you our thoughts rather than to try and come up with a box in answer. And I think for uh, the, the first one is this difficulty sharing research on this because there's no a, there's not a lot of research around group coaching. It is definitely an emergent field and it's very much popular. Uh, both coaches and participants see the amazing results that you can have around it. Uh, but one of the things that Dom and I were talking about was the idea is that is really anchored on finding and figuring out the need, right? The need of the individuals that will be part of the group, right, Dom? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think we're seeing a lot of research around team coaching, and that's a very different approach and a very different need. Um, and agreed, really, your group and for, for group coaching, you don't necessarily want to think about what's going to fill, what's going to sell. If you're starting from that point, you're probably not starting from the greatest place. <laughs> yeah, so in our experience, Adam, when, and you and I have had many conversations of how the, when the magic occurs is really because there has been this bond within the group that they have rallied around one specific issue or a specific challenge. But that's something that they have identified in the group and that you as a coach have really helped them identify. Okay, so, so as coaches, it's really for us to step back and say, what are the needs that I'm perhaps seeing or how can I help this particular group or clients that I've had before identify those things? Exactly. And I think that that's such, a, that's such an important point. It's not so much starting from what's going to sell, but it's really asking, ask your clients, what is it that would be helpful for them? What is it that they want? We've seen, especially with COVID, we've seen so much uh, demand for connection, right? For small groups, for deeper dives into important conversations that people want to have, but don't necessarily have the space in their life to, to have. And so how do we create it? And, and it's really a, about you as a coach understanding your clients. And so I always say, ask them, ask them what would be helpful for them. Yeah, and this is where you use your power as a coach of listening, right? There are times where the, co the client is not necessarily identifying the issue, but as you listen to all these different individuals, you'll start to hear, oh, there's a theme here. And perhaps you can share the theme as, and allow them to react to it, to say, to see if there's an interest, but it really it always starts with the client's needs. That's how you fill up the groups, not because you decide to create a great marketing campaign and then sell it. It's really about the need that you have identified. Amazing. Thanks so much, Maribel. Uh, we Thanks, will see you guys soon on the next Ask Us Anything video.